Rao Tai needs a reprieve from the storms, and Deadfire needs order. And I need your help more than I like to admit. Are you ready to join forces once and for all? Then you must kill Queen Onekaza II. Oh, what a relief to finally see that bottle uncorked. Wait, which queen was that? Are you to decide the fate of nations, Karu? And the lives and deaths required of them? This sounds disturbingly familiar. I don't ask this lightly. But while the Queen holds court, pirates and Valian profiteers close in, and my countrymen back in Rawatai see their homes and crops washed away by storms. I know this isn't how you'd like to do things, but it comes down to this. The continued decline of dead fire, or its sudden transformation. This is the only way to forge a stable future for Rawatai or the dead fire. And I need you to help us achieve it. The Juana are a fractured culture, and the Kahanga monarchy is the last tendon holding it together. The Queen and her predecessors have been ineffectual figureheads for generations. They've left their people vulnerable to the predations of slavers, pirates, and yes, foreign powers. Once we depose the Queen, we will rebuild Deadfire into something stronger and sturdier. That is our goal. You have my word. On my signal, the cannons of the Brass Citadel will fire, and our ships will bombard Queen's Birth. That should draw enough attention away from the palace to allow you to infiltrate. And if I know the Queen, she'll wait out the danger on the roof of the palace. I advise caution and stealth. The Queen will send many of her soldiers to the harbor, but those that remain will be on high alert. We are going to sink Valian ships and damage their infrastructure. Trust me, I want to avoid casualties. I'm sending you to assassinate the Queen because I don't want to massacre her people. My cannoneers are the very best. Your ship will not be damaged. Attacking him will likely raise the alarm, and the Queen is your main target. Still, losing him would be a blow to the Juana, should it come to that. I cannot let this opportunity escape us or risk word getting out, then there's no time to lose. That's the signal. We'll maintain the distraction until you've completed your task. If you need to rest and prepare, the barracks below are open to you. Meet me at the docks outside when you've finished. Good luck. justify the means. Sometimes you've got to do things you don't want to do. Kill any intruders you find. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Feel that? <laughs> That's very helpful. Oh. 
Good thinking. I see. Hey, that wasn't that bad. I see the wits of the light. Handle it for you. I can hear them by their heart. You can trust me. I'll do what I can. Hey, watch it. More red. Did you feel that? Oh, I'm coming. Good work. I hope this does less harm than good, but I don't see it. First time I've ever had royal blood on my hands. We've put them. <laughs>
How may I help? It's a terrible shame, this dreadful waste of life. Still, the skirmish here will forestall much longer, bloodier battles in the future. I hope that comforts you as much as it does me. Our soldiers have taken control of the district and will do the same throughout Mekitaga. The queen has escaped, but there's little she can do now. The prince's death will be a blow to her, both strategically and politically. And we now hold the seat of power in Deadfire. And we shall see to it. As for your passage to Ukaizo, Karu can introduce you to your conveyance. She shall meet you at the Brass Citadel by the docks. I shall return to my office in the Brass Citadel once I've seen to matters here. You did it. You really pulled it off. Aha! You've given Rawatai a future. Thanks to you, we have only to seize it. We'll clear out the pirates, establish bigger ports, and regulate the sale of Luminous Adra. Deadfire will be every bit as safe and orderly as the rest of our empire. You have my word. But if our efforts are to mean anything, then we must get to Ukaizo. Come, it's time you saw what Okaya's engineers have been working on. You help Rawatai establish a foothold in Deadfire, and I promised you a way to Ukaizo. Our engineers at Sayuka have developed a one-of-a-kind vessel that will give us mastery over the seas. And you, a means to reach Ukaizo. I give you the Blade of Takoa. Thanks to our engineer's dedication and Ivera's magic, the Blade of Takoa can travel beneath the water. The storms of Andra's mortar won't stop you. They won't even touch you. <laughs> now comes the time to put it to use. You'll go to Ukaizo. If our predictions are correct, there should be a way for you to disable the storms somewhere on the island. Once you've done that, the rest of our ships can secure it. And you can face Aethys. The ship will be waiting for you at Queen's birth. Try it out. See how it handles. Once you're ready, we'll follow you to Andra's Mortar. In the meantime, I'll be at Serpent's Crown. We've both got our work cut out for us. For the first time in a long while, I feel truly confident in where I'm going. What I'm doing. With you, I mean. You and I are rather different. You're bold, brash. More like Isselmir, I suppose. Perhaps that's why you're decisive where I'm uncertain. 
You know what must be done, and you don't hesitate. I admire that. That's precisely what I mean. I don't know that I could trust myself with the decisions you're making. My own brief time hunting the leaden key has taught me there's nothing enviable about the position you're in. Perhaps what I mean is, if we must be caught between the gods and the wheel, then I'm glad you're on our side. That means a lot. Thank you. Now I hope you'll excuse me, but I really must review my grimoire. <clears throat>